This week's tip is about overcommitting. Don't overcommit to your clients. We as planners always want to make everyone happy. But in this situation, I should have known to provide the best customer service that I could. And instead of pleasing this client, I should have known not to schedule an appointment on an event weekend. So what happened was I had an out of town bride coming in to town and she was adamant that she wanted to meet with the floral designer, even though I wasn't available to meet because I told her that we had multiple events that weekend that we could not meet. But as sweet as the floral designer is, they said that they would send someone from the shop to meet with this client. So the night before the big weekend, we had a horrible storm come through town and the owner of the floral shop got to the, the flower shop the next morning and unfortunately all the power had gone out and the cooler had been out all night. So all of the flowers that they had been making for two days straight for not only events that I was planning but other events in town, they were completely ruined. They were dead. Luckily, this florist has great relationships with other floral companies in town and they were able to scrounge together some flowers. But amongst all the madness, the florist forgot to send someone to the meeting. And so I had to deal with a very angry client and then it made the florist look bad, it made me look bad because she didn't show up. And unfortunately, I had to share with that bride a little bit about what happened in the background, not to make excuses, but she needed to know that something came up that was more important than her meeting because her wedding was nine months away. And so I wish that I would have stuck to my guns and had never even asked that florist to meet with a client on, on the wedding day. So when I asked that bride that was so mad that the florist didn't show up for the meeting, when it's your wedding weekend, you want all of your vendors to make sure they are 100% focused on you and not meeting with the client. So please give the same respect to the client for this weekend. And she was a little bit more nice about it. And we were able to reschedule the meeting when she was coming back into town. Again, we had nine months. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.